Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of the view. So today we are going to learn about the authentication with view 3 and the firebase. Those who haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel and if you like the video, please do like, share and comment on my video. So let's get started. So currently I have the previous project. So let me show you. So currently I'm going to dis close this terminal. Okay, so here we go with the this I'm going to close this. Okay, so here we have the project. Okay, let me run this project. NPM run serve. So let's see. So here you can see that we will go with the register and let's open the Firebase console. So here we have the Firebase console. Let me log in. So here is my project. Right? We have authentication. So current user is test67, right? So here I'm going to register a new user with the new name testing12. We'll add testing12 at the rate marinator.com and the password we will suggest. Okay, so let's do the register and it's register and it log into the dashboard that is welcome and the email is this one. Okay, so here we go with this one. Just reload this one and check the user is created or not. So you can see testing 12 at the rate millinator is created. Let's try to log in with that one also. Let's try to log out and try to log in. If I put the wrong, this is wrong password. Let's try to log in. Is there any space? Okay, done. Let me add this one. Okay, testing twelve millinator dot com. Now you can see invalid credentials. Please check your email and the password. So basically, the pa password is wrong. So let me add the correct password. I have added this one right password and see I'm able to log in okay so we are going to learn in this video so let's see how we are going to make this so this is the full-fledged code which we have which is running right now so I will explain each and every file over here let me close all the files and uh, okay so here we go with this one so first of all Authentication with view 3 and the Firebase. First of all, npm install Firebase. Okay. Uh, this video is related to the previous one. If you haven't checked my previous video, just go and check this one. That is on the router basically. Okay. So npm install Firebase. First step, then you have to create a Firebase.js on the root file. Okay. So here we have the root file that is called Firebase.js. Okay. So you have to add these lines. Okay. So just see step by step so i will show you that is firebase combat app firebase this firebase configurations you have to add all the configurations from this firebase so you will get the configurations from here so where we go to the project settings then you have to go and just scroll down and this is the api key and all you have to add it right so just copy this and use it over here then you have to use the const firebase app for the initializing the app then we have firebase auth then export that out. Done. First step is this one. Okay. Then we have to create the view components for the authentication that is login, register, and the dashboard. Okay. So we have the views. Okay. Then go to the component first. Component, we have a register, login, and the dashboard. So first, register component. Okay. So here we have a register component, which is a template which has the input, email, and the password. Okay, and the model is email and the password. So this is basically a template. 
okay the next one we have a script section where we have a view we are calling the reference then we have a oath from the reference from the firebase then the use router for the navigation okay so you haven't installed it install the view router also okay then setup in the setup we have first email is empty and the password is empty router use router okay so this is the default you can see about the firebase function that is create user with email and the password okay so user is registered and then navigate to the dashboard router after successful registration so this will this will require the two things that is email and the password okay just send it and it will log on to the redirect to the dashboard if any issue occur it will throw the error okay so this is the registration part okay you have to create in the component section the login register and the dashboard okay then we have a login part right where we have added the validation also so here we have again the form okay at the rate submit dot prevent login we have a email we have a password if any error occurs we if error it will show the error over here okay next we have calling the view from the reference firebase and the view router again okay then the next method calling over here with sign in with email and the password so it will requires the email and the password okay then if it successful login then it will react to the dashboard else it will show the error invalid credentials please check your mail and the password okay i show you i show already right and after that return email password error and the login okay and here we have a style that we have added over here simple then we have a dashboard okay so it's very simple that we here we are displaying the username email because username is not there then we have a email so here we have a logout button at the same and here we have a firebase auth view view router and then we have using over here logout auth dot sign out then it redirect to the login screen if any error occurs it go to the error dot message okay so this is how we are able to do the firebase and then we have a routing part in the app view where we have a login register and the dashboard then we have a router router view okay so this is how we are able to create authentication system with the help of the view and the firebase any doubt any query in that just do let me know in the comment section thank you so much for watching this video have a great day and make sure in the index.js router index.js which is i skipped so here we have all the routing process over here okay so it's very neat and clean and the simple part we have to use the routes path login register and the dashboard and here we have a history create web history routes okay so any doubt any query you are getting on just let do let me know in the comment section thank you so much for watching this video have a great day